Okay, immediately after the uh, Skull Watcher Star Travel 120, I went for the Skull Watcher 72ED and 72 millimeter. The details I can see, although it is a very wide angle, you can use it as wide angles. It's ED, it's upper chromatic. The details I can see on Jupiter are more than what I could see in that. Uh, 120 millimeter objective refractor. So, which one I prefer? If I'm going to spend that uh, 300, 400 pound for 120 uh, refractor instead of it, I will go for this ED one. That's better even. It's compact, tiny. You can use it for astrophotography if you want. Uh, you can use extension tube if you don't want to use the star diagonal. And then you will have a sharpest view. This is 7 millimeter Nirvana beautiful views you can see more detail and the image is very clear no chromatic aberration at all so if you want to spend money for 120s uh, go for this one <laughs> that's better in my opinion your money of course you know what to spend okay i'm now using the one of four millimeter on this uh, so what's your ED film too? And yeah, the details are good. Uh, probably that's the maximum of it with this telescope. Um, I will try the, the you can see a lot of details of course. No chromatic aberration at all. But uh, and I would uh, pay for pure gold focus so I got some kind of fine focus. Uh, let me go for five minutes, I guess this is how it is five minutes. I use the bar low on the 8mm ED. Okay, I'm using the... Uh, I thought I would use the ED8 on two times bar low. No, that will give me four. So I have to use five. So I use the Vixen SLV5. Perfect. That's again, 5mm is a perfect optimum magnification for viewing Jupiter on this telescope. Uh, so watch a uh, 72 ED image clear, no chromatic aberration, millions of details. Um, should I exaggerate? Image doesn't have any chromatic aberration. I'm using five millimeter Vixen uh, um, SLV and the Skull Watch 72 ED. It's big image. No chromatic aberration, lots of details on the Jupiter, despite that it's a tiny telescope. Ooh, wow, I'm amazed at the quality of this. <laughs> I didn't expect this rich field telescope. Such a tiny telescope, at the same time, is uh, upper chromatic. 72 millimeter objective lens, but so much rich details you can see in Jupiter. With with the optimum eyepiece of 5mm magnification focal length. That's amazing. This is beautiful. Oh, <laughs> I didn't expect that this telescope is so good. It's lovely. And now with the 12mm star guide, beautiful, lowest magnification, but beautiful image. Velvet dark background. And the Jupiter showing details, beautiful. This is really a good uh, instrument, optical tool. Wow! H millimeter star guider on the Jupiter with this ED72. Wow! <laughs> I did expect it. This, this is really good. This is really good. Wow, I can see two main belts easy, but I see more details actually, more finer belts, cloud belts. And the color is so neutral and f free from chromatic aberration. Beautiful. Sky background is so dark, stands out. Galilean moons of Jupiter show disks tiny discs, the pinpoint sharp. 
Okay, I've now removed the two millimeter Borlo. This is the planetary uh, two and a half millimeter TMB planetary two and a half millimeter, and it is amazing. The details are beautiful. <laughs> This is the first time I can say that uh, <laughs> this eyepiece is good on Jupiter. 